Welcome to our group uh, today, uh, to, to Nadia Murat and Lamia Aybashar, who are, as uh, you know, the laureates of uh, the 2016 Sakharov uh, Prize. And I want to also uh, welcome uh, Wat, who is uh, your uh, brother, who is sitting there, um, and who was uh, reunited with uh, his sister only yesterday here in uh, in Strasbourg. Um, and I want also to welcome all the other members of the Yazidi community uh, uh, who are here today uh, in this uh, uh, session. So we have all attended um, the very emotional uh, Sakharov uh, ceremony of today uh, in the hemicycle. And we have all um, listened to your very powerful uh, testimony uh, and I can, I, I think I can say in the name of uh, uh, the whole group, uh, we feel in, in fact deeply ashamed that we were uh, so passive uh, when these uh, unimaginable atrocities were, uh, were happening and um, that's ashamed that we failed in fact uh, to prevent um, Daesh from perpetrating the crimes against you and against the whole Yazidi uh, people and community. Because there are clearly uh, systematic crimes against uh, humanity. Now my fear of today is that we will be ashamed again in the coming years by doing nothing in another tragedy happening today, every hour, in Syria, in Aleppo, where things also, again, happen without any reaction of the international community uh, and uh, of ourselves. We also uh, carry deep respect uh, for your uh, decision uh, to speak out uh, in, in spite of um, yeah, your, the wounds that you have and, and the atrocities um, that happened and that uh, you become, uh, as you have said yourself, I think, the voice of the voiceless uh, in this. And to stand up and draw the attention of the world to the, the thousands, in fact, of, of members of your community uh, who are held, still held hostage of, of Daesh. And to gather much needed support uh, for your community and for your people. And to urge, and I repeat it again, the international community to bring uh, these perpetrators of those crimes to justice, because that is what needs to happen, so that um, they are responsible for their crimes before court. And I think um, beyond giving this prize to, to, to both of you, um, I think we have another duty. Uh, that's the duty to support uh, your uh, efforts in, part, in particular, given the ongoing violence and instability in Iraq, I think that we must support direct resettlement of the Jaidi people into safety in Europe, uh, where this is needed. Uh, and if you allow me, in the same uh, logic as, as we did uh, to this morning in the plenary, maybe uh, 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 Mia, I can uh, give you first the floor, and then uh, to uh, Nadia uh, afterwards. And then, if you allow, there are going to be short, um, maybe questions, interventions by some members uh, of uh, the group. As the Vinim, after Stehaka, Sari, Jinu, Kachka, Zarokate, Kabul, Nakir, and Abdel Mahak of Sariwanti. I think the symbol uh, why you gave us this prize, uh, because you refuse uh, what was happened with our women and children, what was happened with us. Zakharov Prize is a big power for all of us. Uh, 
But we are in need of you, uh, uh, especially uh, in implementation of uh, security uh, safe zones for our community. Our community need your support in order to return back to their own areas, and this can be uh, established if you protect us uh, and uh, if you uh, bring uh, Daesh to justice. As Bijim, Lazma Iro, as Nabijim Kakadiam, Kadiam, Latim, Ejber. كجريمة داعش كرين جريمة إنسانتي هم وبيا مشترك أشبر جريمة ضد بشرية وضد إنسانتي هم وينا. I have to say that this is not my cause. This is not the cause of my community. This is a cause of entire humanity because this is a shared cause between all of us. هكم بيجن أوكي وكفت دسالة داعش العراق ده وبيتر وابويا شار سالة سوريا ده كم دين بيجن كم مجتمع دولي بيجي كم هم وبيجن. وكمية تشتكي كن كش عالمي را وهنجي وقتي مت بيجن كرتي هتان هاز شورت بيبم كشن زارو أتين بمينن كشن خلقي برتشا كشن خلقي بمالكا مستقبلي كشن خلقي مجهولة. For two years this been happening in Iraq. For four years this been happening in Syria. And what is happening is that uh, the more we wait and the more we give these messages without action is that more people become orphans, more women become widows, more people uh, go hungry, and the situation continues to be very difficult. We have the right to live in peace and security, to return to our lands. The world cannot remain silent before this dreadful injustice. We have to make these criminals accountable. We have to convict them. We mustn't leave them in impunity. As long as Daesh continues to live, as long as this extremist ideology exists, we cannot live safely, whether we're in Europe, in Iraq, or in any country.